Okay, uh, here we go. We're going to do a quick comparison of a couple of watches I just picked up. And one's a Christopher Ward C40 Speedhawk, and one is an Oris uh, TT1 Diver uh, in blue. I uh, just picked them both up uh, a couple of days ago. I uh, paid similar price for them, so I thought I'd do a quick comparison video to show you guys what they look like. Uh, I'll start with a Christopher Ward here. This is a uh, automatic chronograph, uh, 7750 movement, uh, day and date. Very, very nice piece. Uh, nice red accents on the buttons there. 42 millimeters in diameter, 5 meter water resist, which isn't the... Uh, isn't the best, I guess, but I, it doesn't matter to me. I don't dive. I just uh, want to be able to wear them to a swim-up bar, maybe at a vacation spot. That's about it, as far as water resist goes for me. I got a one-way rotating bezel here, and we got the chronograph dials. I can't get this camera to focus in real good on the fine details on the face. I just have to take my word for how uh, how pretty this thing really is. It's just incredible. Get a good look at the movement on the back through the uh, clear case back there. Christopher Ward on the rotor, nice little blue decorative screws inside, got the butterfly uh, clasp on the bracelet here, very nice bracelet, again I don't have a whole lot to compare it to other than the Oris, the Oris is definitely nicer but I don't know that there's many better than the Oris, I'll put it on real quick, show you what it looks like, I've got uh, about six and a half inch wrists, and I'd say this, this watch at uh, 42 millimeters is probably about maximum size for my wrists, only because of how hot, tall it sits up. It's pretty. It's a pretty tall, pretty tall watch here. But uh, overall, I think it looks really, really nice. Let's look at the butterfly. Uh, I believe it's a butterfly uh, clasp there, and real, real comfortable. Heavy feels real solid. Just looks gorgeous. Uh, the top button here operates the chronograph, bottom button uh, uh, resets it. Let me start it up real quick, get a look at the sweeping second hand there. It's just smooth as can be, that red second hand. When you're not running the chronograph, it's the uh, small middle uh, dial there on the chronograph dials. And uh, just overall a great value. I believe it's about uh, it's $965 new from Christopher Ward. You can only get it straight from... Uh, straight from them in uh, England for that price I just think what a value for what uh, considering the movement inside is uh, normally used in a lot of money more much more expensive watches and now we'll take a look at the Oris here Oris uh, weighs it comes in at 44 millimeters but because of its uh, unique case design it sits a lot a lot, a lot nicer, a lot smaller than 44 millimeters on my skinny wrist. It's actually a really good fit for someone with skinny wrist. I believe mine are six and a half inches. This one's uh, not nearly as uh, busy looking. Nice blue uh, wave dial. You're not going to be able to see in this video, I'm sure. There's like little wave designs in the dial. Uh, the one-way rotating uh, blue bezel there. It's uh, much more uh, solid rotating than uh, the Christopher Ward. It actually takes a lot more effort to turn it than the Christopher Ward. It's a 300 uh, meter water resist, and the bracelet, like I said before, is just incredible. Really super thick, heavy links, stainless steel, and it's got the uh, the pins are little screws, so you can size it at home if you have a small screwdriver without having to take it to a jeweler, which is nice. Got this nice big screw down crown. The Crisp Ward also has a screw down crown. Sapphire uh, anti reflective crystal, also the same as a Christopher Ward. Got the uh, fold-over clasp uh, with the Oris uh, logo on it there, which is real nice. I just love the bracelet. I love the way it sits on my, like I said, my skinny wrist. It's just uh, also real heavy, real solid, just a stunning overall, real stunning watch. Let's see if I can get the uh, get the, both of them here in the same shot and get a look at them side by side. As far as which one I think is a better value, I think the Oris retails for about $1,500 and the Chris Ward retails $965 for as far as value goes, Chris Ward, I don't think you can beat it. Under $1,000 with that movement and as beautiful as that, that watch is, it's definitely got more of a wow factor. More uh, When I wear that one, more people say, wow, nice watch. What is that? Who makes that? It's uh, much more noticeable, especially like I said on my skinny wrists. 
but I also very much like the uh, subdued look of the Oris. You see the second hand on the Oris is just sweeping smooth as can be. I don't know if I remember to show you or not, but it also has the clear case back, uh, so you can take a look at Oris's movement here. Let me put this guy down. Let me get a look at that. There we go. There's the clear back on the uh, on the Oris. And as far as uh, which one do I like better? Honestly, I can't say. They're so different. They're very different looks. They're both just incredibly good values. I do think the Oris sits a little bit better on my skinny wrist. It's great for people with skinny wrists. Don't let the 44 millimeters uh, size uh, scare you off. The way it sits, it sits much smaller. And the bracelet on the Oris is uh, oh, it's just uh, mu it's uh, about as nice as a bracelet can get, I believe. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with the Chris War, but this bracelet is just uh, beefy. Is just awesome. Overall, I think. Uh, I don't know, they're just too different. I can't really uh, pick a favorite, but I like them both very, very much. I think they're both excellent deals, especially if you can find them pre-owned. And they are side by side. Oh, we got the Chris Ward upside down. Just a moment here. And they go side by side. Both just excellent, excellent watches. Different looks, different styles, slightly different styles. More going on in the Chris Ward with the chronograph, but I think they're both just just awesome. Great deals for both, great watches, and I uh, hope that helps.